on another note, I had another issue with uh, one of these machines is that uh, the um, the fan is labeled fan 2, which I believe, I haven't traced the, uh, the leads yet, but I believe it's the fan that uh, supplies um, or that controls the cooling to the heat sink, not the part cooling fan, which is on the left hand side, which is what this where this ring attaches to that it cools off the um, the the 3d print so I that's not an issue I'm not having an issue with this one right here but I did have an issue with the fan that cools the heat sink which is um, which would be uh, this one right here notice that I have connected this on this side here because it, uh, for a while I was printing uh, I was trying to cool this I didn't care too much so much about the part cooling fan is the cooling of the heatsink. This is more important uh, to cool this because if you don't cool this, you know the the material tends to get uh, really, really. Uh, um, uh, it can backflow into the uh, into the tubes here and it can get clogged, and that's exactly what was happening. So I swapped the the fan, and I would have it at full speed, uh, and that's how I was able to get some prints when this uh, happened. But since I'm fixing this machine, I I forgot about this. And uh, I thought I'd do another video to talk about this. Now, this one right here, what I believe happened here is um, the connectors. I, I was trying to also replace uh, one of these fans, and I believe the connectors were reversed on that fan. And when I plugged it back into thinking that, uh, you know, the, the plug, I mean, the plug went right in there, and then something started smoking here. And so I traced that back, and I believe it's, um, I did some uh, really quick, uh, uh, MOSFET uh, te onboard tests and this MOSFET right here it's very very tiny it's next to an LED that's on this uh, Tri-Gorilla uh, boards uh, I believe that one is fried because the other MOSFETs are not uh, reading the same but this one has a short on the uh, on two of the leads so I'm going to have to disassemble this and take out the board and take out that MOSFET I already uh, looked uh, at that MOSFET number. That MOSFET number is um, BCDP88N. So, um, boy, Charlie, um, boy, Charlie, Dave, Paul, 8N is in Nancy. And that one goes to the fan too, which um, I believe it's the heat sink uh, for the cooler, or for the heat sink cooler, um, and not the part cooling fan. So the two are just fine. So I'm going to look at this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a little uh, MOSFET there. I've, I've done similar repairs here you know, with uh, with ESCs and uh, power uh, systems that uh, tend to blow the MOSFETs. So that's not new to me, but I'll be able to. Um, uh, tell for sure once I take uh, this out and, and do uh, some more uh, uh, tests, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's that MOSFET that burned. And so that's a that's a fix that I'm I'm just going to take it upon myself to do it. There's no need to replace the board. You know, if you can do uh, similar repairs, you know, by all means. But I wanted to get this on video and pass that on to other people that may uh, have uh, experienced uh, something similar. What I've seen uh, in videos is that some people uh, try to replace the uh, fan with a 24 volt uh, fans and they un end up blowing that, 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 those MOSFETs. So you got to replace components with the same components. And, um, and any time you, you reverse the leads on, on some of these uh, fans, you know you risk the, uh, the you risk the uh, uh, you know damaging uh, some of these uh, MOSFETs that do the, the driving you know, to the fans. So. I will do another video once this is all set up and working in proper order.